So in order to get this gravity data, we are going to use this website called International Center for Global Earth Models. Google it in your browser, simply click on the link in the description below. You will get this result, click on it, and you will be redirected to this website. So from here, we are going to use this website in order to generate our gravity data. So without further ado, in order to generate this data, go under calculation service and click on regular grids. This is the page that you will get. So from here, you can specify the area where you want to get your data from. So let's imagine that we are going to get our data from here, North America. So you can choose any area that you want on this map. And you can see here that you can you have also the possibility to input your own coordinates. So for the grid steps, let's for example set it to 0.5. And this is the coordinate system WGS84. So for the other parameters, I would just leave them to default. After that, scroll down. And they will let everything to default and we'll just click on start computation. After that the website will do its thing. After getting 100% done, click on results. So this is our gravity map. You can change it to GMT illuminated in order to get a GMT version of your map. You can see here that this is the gravity anomaly in North America. This is the scale and you have also the possibility to export this result as a XYZ ASCII format, GeoChief and Surfer 7 grid. So let's get it as a GeoChief and try to open it in our GIS software. So click on GeoChief, after that specify where you want to save your data and then click save. At the end of the download you will get this zip file. So you should use a GIS software in order to open it. So in this case, I will use ArcGIS. Click on Add Data. Navigate to a work folder. Click on your chief file and then click Add. And this is our gravity map. You can here change the color. So I hope that this tutorial was useful. If so, please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials.